Hello, everybody. My name is Max Farrow, and this is DexEffectsMarkets.com. And in this very special webinar here on February 11th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, we're going to talk about the Zenon versus manual trading. Now, we put out a little cute uh, email to all of you to, to sort of like a bet on which is better, the Zenon automation trading system or the manual trading system. And I am joined here today by my colleagues, partners, and friends I should say, uh, first we have Christophe Gagne, who is one of the partners of the company. Welcome, Chris. Thanks, Max. Now, Chris has been with us for some time and has a, a great understanding of the human element and being able to talk to people and get to know who you are. So you probably have talked to Chris on the phone. Uh, we also have Paul David, longtime friend in many ventures and uh, over in the Jersey Islands. Welcome, Paul Davy. Thanks, Max. Nice to be here. Most of you know Paul from his videos that he's doing about our what we're building and uh, the results videos that are out there, and probably seen him in the chat rooms or talked to him at one point or another. Avid trader, long-term scalper, uh, just all around, uh, I think, just brilliant all, all together in his trading capabilities. And last and not least, we got Mr. Thor Rafferty, uh, Another long time, long, I guess long time, right? You've been with yes, us about five six years. years six on, years, uh, Jesus. I, yeah, with you and uh, years and years and years of trading before that. So. Right, right. So you, you, you got it down. Um, but Thor and I, when we first started doing stuff with like 20 minute trades and doing all that kind of stuff, I just, I loved his integrity. All, all three of these guys uh, with the integrity and the process, it's, it's just always made me feel really good. Uh, somebody that's pro that is here that I didn't put in the panel, and I do apologize, but she is really in head of our, our marketing and vision is Vivian Edwards. Uh, awesome, awesome person. Uh, I, I only had four slots available, so we drew straws. <laughs> well, I drew, I, drew, I, I drew the straw for her, which she had draws for a straw. Okay, so let's get started. And the big question here is the Zedon versus manual tra trading. Now, if you're here and you don't know what the Zedon is, we're gonna we're gonna go through that. Let's let's talk about that first. Give me one second. Here. All right. So here, if you can, you guys all see my screen, okay? Yep, it's fine. Good, good, good. All right. So we're gonna talk about what is the Zedon. Now, some of you already know what the Zedon is because you lived it, you've been here. Uh, some of you don't, and it's for those people that don't that I'm gonna do this. And I'll try to be very quick, but maybe some of you don't even know the real history of what happened with the Zedon and why, why it came to be. Well, so many things, but the Zedon has so many things available. But in short, it's an automated trading system for our DexFX signals, uh, for our dailies and our TNT strategy systems. Um, in the last five years, it has taken, it, it, I've been, I probably, it's yeah, basically taken five years being constantly asked, are you going to have an automatic trading system? And my answer has always been, you know, no, right? I guess, is it, is it really worth it to even have one? You know, do they work? And I would always say not legitimately. They don't, they don't physically work out there uh, because the people that I've seen, the things that I've seen have never really impressed me well enough. And in the history of the Zedon, we've always been asked this question, will you ever make an automated system for Nadex? And I was always answering no. Uh, you can ask Paul and Thor who've been with me just a little bit longer than Chris when I've been asked this question. I think they've even asked me a couple of times uh, if I, this was ever going to happen. And I, when I always said no, it was because that the complexity and the lack of trust of brokers in general always made me a little worried about how we could connect it and deal with it, right? There's many things that could go wrong with an automatic trading system. And one of them would be that connection. Uh, Nadex has some very complex processes that it uses to create its exchange and security issues. So when I say issues, I mean like if we were to try to connect, we'd be looked as a foreign invader almost, right? So we had to kind find some very creative ways to be able to handle that to even make that work. And then those times I really just didn't want to be bothered. We already had good signals. The manual systems were working and we really didn't need an automatic trading system. But then something changed my mind and soul behind it. Last year we had some, a major hit to our Forex uh, processes and with the brokers. And I had met a gentleman uh, within our network. His name is Matt. And Matt is a, 
a genius when it comes to API. At the same exact time, I met, I've, I've always known this other gentleman um, in this other team uh, who is another really good programmer. And simultaneously, both came to the agreement that they could build a Xenon and build a network, an automatic trading system. Okay. Now, in the world of, of, of automatic trading systems, uh, we, we, we decided that we wanted to try to attempt this, but not like any other company. Uh, basically, there are three companies in the world that have ever built a true automatic trading system for, uh, for Nadex. One is Altrado. I don't even know if I spelled that right, but Altrado.com, I think it is. And I've never really, we, we, we were going to have them do some stuff for us, and I'll talk about that here in a second. But then we also have Apex, in, Apex Investing. And, and then us, that's right. We decided that we were going to take it on by building two systems at once. Now, I've investigated Altrado, and I looked at their process, and we even at one time wanted to have them build the prototype for us. But they were very arrogant. They were very expensive. And it seemed like, I don't know, it just seemed like there was something up. After some more investigation, I found out what was up. And I decided not to go with them at all and that we would end up just using our own people. Now, Apex Investing and I have had a long history of, of, of controversy, let's say, right? Mr. Dow Martin doesn't really like me very much. And uh, I don't, I've never really gotten why. You know, he's asked me to divulge my internal records of who I am and what I've done and how much money I make with Nadex and all that kind of stuff. And you know what? I find that if it was ever done respectfully, I, I probably would have, but now it's just a point, right? Uh, they also have the API code directly from Nadex, which is sort of an in for them. And they do have a good system for their scanner uh, that they use, but I've never seen their trading system for automatic trading. I don't even know if it's still around. I don't know if anybody's using it. And to be quite honest with you, I really don't care. The reason being, and, and this I'll extend on this note a little bit, is that, I hope it's real. I hope it works because competition is a good thing in the industry. It yields out transparency and honesty and hard work. If they have one that is like ours and it works, then great. That just means that there's more options to make money. I may even use it. Okay. And I've always said that to anybody. If you find a system or a program or a process that works and it works better than what we do, that's fine. But Hey, share the information with me so I can go use it too. That's how this whole started. The whole company started because I wanted to build something that we could use and make money with. So I'm not arrogant in thinking that I only got the, I got the best thing in the world and every, nobody else can use anything else. Feel free, find it out. But let me tell you, you're always going to come back to a couple things. And one of them is the transparency and honesty that we'll have for you. And the, the love of what we want you to have is your, to, get, to gain your idea of success. And you'll see that to be sincere and honest in everything that we do. Now, let's talk about the Zedon and the Dex Trader Bot. Remember, in the very beginning, when we built this, we, we had two teams. We created two teams to build the connections to Nadex. Because that was the toughest part, is to find a way to connect the Nadex without being thought of as an invader or a hacker or uh, a, a violation of, of their terms. So we had to find some very creative ways to do that. Now, I had these two gentlemen who was, one was saying, okay, we have to use these systems. And the other one was saying, oh, we got to use these systems. Sort of like peanut butter and chocolate, right? And at first I was like, well, let me combine the teams and they can hash it all out. But there was one way that somebody was doing it was, was the sort of the same way that Altrado and Apex were originally using to access. And we only knew this because there was only a certain way, a couple of ways that you could access to uh, Nadex. And if it didn't, if those ways that everybody else was already using could be built and used, then I would fall suit. Or if we could invent a new way. So we had one team using the ways that everybody else was, and then we decided to invent a new way, which is prioritary to our system. And we decided that having this Xenon process be with like a Dex Trader bot and everything else, the two different ways of, of them programming it, we're all connected through one individual, me. And each team didn't, couldn't see the other's code. And I didn't want them to see it. I didn't want them to be influenced. And 
One was an API specialist while the other was a coder and a programmer and a trader and knew trading. And you could see the difference in the influence of each, each programmer's mind. The trader was real uh, succinct with data. It was very blockish. It, 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 was, it, just, it just made sense, you know, when you looked at it from a trading platform, a trading view, where well, you'll see in the Zedon, it was more fluid. It had, you know, I, th- I just feel like it was more rounded. It was easier to use. It was easier on the eyes. Even though that the other one did have some details that I liked, I really was beginning to like the Zedon process altogether. Now, why did one win over the other one? Um, Well, the Zedon won because DexTrader sort of fell behind in the capability of analyzation of the market. It couldn't couldn't analyze the network of news. It couldn't analyze the network of percentages, which is something that we wanted the bots to be able to travel to later on. Um, So we, we knew that even though that it was a great system and that it it was very powerful to trade the signals directly, it couldn't siphon itself. It couldn't filter. It couldn't gather in more information and use that to help itself. So we eventually declared the winner of the Zedon. Now, guess what? The Dexbot's still sitting over there doing whatever, but in in our case, we're we're paying all of our attention to the Zedon now. Now, um, when we first started the Zedon in beta, it was very young and had just some top tier uh, programs in it. And it didn't really have a lot, it didn't have a news system. It was just straight signals. And you could go in and you had to manually look at our signal network to see the data, which we'll show you here in just a minute. And you had to turn things on and off. It was very, it was, it was, it was just very mundane. You just push the buttons and you had to do whatever. Right. So, and, and I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. Now, when we first started, we definitely had to test this wasn't going to be like we were going to throw it out there to the public and let everybody come, hundreds and hundreds of people come. We actually put it out to investors. We actually put it out to people that spent a lot of money to be there. And we knew that for a reason, because it was going to be worth for them to be in the beginning parts of the testing, because we got a lot, they got a lot, they got lifetime subscriptions and so forth. So there's a lot of benefit in this very beginning part of the Xenon testing. We tested a lot. And, um, Sorry for one second. I just got interrupted there. I got to get back into that. All right, there we go. Um, we tested so many things. I mean, Nadex had so many things that we had to actually kind of go through. Um, at the exact same time that we were releasing the Zedon, Nadex decided they were going to release a new demo exchange. And I'm talking not like conspiracy theory kind of mentality, right? We're talking really the moment. I mean, Paul, Thor, Chris, you all can come out too and and state the the timing issues, but it was like the day of, and then two days later, new demo unit, (laughs) right? So it was like, it was that close. So we decided at that same time that we were going to have to, just like before making two subsystems, we were going to have to make another demo system uh, to cover that. And we did under, under the covers while Zedon is out, we have the other system all ready to go. So if they ever shut off their main exchange, and go to that new demo, we got you covered. So no, no big deal. So I've talked about the Zedon and what it looks like and how it acts and all that kind of stuff. Let's run over and have a look at it right now. Um, I got to get in and do a new share. We're going to do the screen. Excuse my mess. Here we go. Uh, now the Zedon itself is a, is basically software, right? And it downloads to your home computer. In this case, I'm using a VPS. You could go to your home computer, go to a VPS. I would suggest using a VPS. They're very inexpensive to use. They keep you secure. Uh, you can get them from us at a discounted rate too. Uh, we have dexwebtools.com, three able to use. Uh, you download it to your computer, you click on it, it opens up. It's gonna ask you your login details for DexFX markets. Uh, you're going to log in, right? You can't use mine because mine's only licensed to me. Now, as you can see, it looks very clean looks very shy. It almost looks like a phone app on your computer, right? I wonder why. I wonder if it's ever going to be a phone app. <clears throat> and, and nudge, nudge. So, it, and it's, it's, it's very crisp and user-friendly. Um, I say it is. I mean, it, it, some may think it's not. Uh, some may think that we need some more detail. Well, that, that's absolutely true. It possibly could be. Um, but what we have really found is the intuitiveness of it is that everything has a place and 
depending on the pair and our signal system, you'll see what, how it all connects later on as far as you know, what pairs it's going to use, what times it's going to trade. Are we using a daily, a two hour or one hour strategy uh, or all of them? There's, there's things that you can do to use them all. It also has a news filtration system. Oh, by the way, it does have a percentage filtration system. And before uh, uh, you, you find this out in, in the information, it doesn't use the filtration system like you think it does, uh, which we'll show you. It doesn't use the hourly and the one hour and two hours uh, or, or one hour uh, displays in there. It uses the overall asset, which we will talk about in uh, training videos on board the website, but we won't, we'll save that for another time. Um, it also has a news filtration system. You can avoid one star, two star, or three, all, or all three bull news uh, in the process. So lots of activity and, or, or devices that you can use within the process. You can even finite and go down to where you can, you know, not follow the great brain pound. Don't worry about avoiding GPD or OUD or CAD or JPY. You may just avoid the big ones, right? Or not at all. Why don't you save? You hit start. Now, in most cases, I have a lot of recording stuff going on. So it could, uh, as it's jumping in, it's very intuitive uh, to be able to log into your system. Now, because everything's encapsulated inside the system here, I'm going to go ahead and hit refresh. If I get a little circle that runs like that, I usually hit refresh pretty quick and then it does its thing. Um, and as you can see, almost immediately you pop in, there's my demo account. We're going to be doing demo. I don't want to take a chance. I mess anything up here in live, uh, but I can't click on anything here because we have it, what we call in safe mode. So I'm going to uncheck safe mode and I'm going to probably delete this big old box out of the way. I could literally manually trade from this box, uh, from this solution. So it's very, uh, it is very handy to be able to use, but then I put safety, safety mode back on. Um, if you've showed up and there's already a signal has been fired within the system, it'll show up right here and you can simply just click that to fire, right? If you have uh, it filtered out or if it's filtered or what have you, it may not, it may not put a signal on, okay? Uh, in most cases, you can also on the fly change your strategy as you go through. Each one of these is considered a strategy process, right? So what's really cool is that you can go onto the fly and say, you know what, today I don't want to trade the 10 a.m. Audi JPY, so I want to make sure, uh, you know, there's a performance block on the Euro JPY. Maybe I can take that off. Maybe I don't want to use performance blocking at all, and I just want to put the Euro JPY at a particular level, right? So it is, it is programmable on the fly as well as looking over a history of data that we already have over on our website. So... The, the cool part about being able to use all these little processes is that you can expand this version out and just have this doing its thing. Now, why we're here talking about how great the Zedon is, we're also going to be looking at our manual trading systems and where all this really super comes from, okay? So this is basically, uh, you can trade the one hours and the two hours or the one hour and the daily or just the daily or any combination thereof. You have a lots of data. We show you how to track your logs, all that kind of good stuff. Okay. There was a question. Let me see here real quick for one second. When can we start using Zedon on live? Well, you have to apply for it. Uh, that's, that's a pretty simple question. Uh, you have to apply for it through the system. So you got to write into us and uh, we put a special code on your filter uh, to make sure that you've, you've done enough demo time and uh, it gets turned on. So hopefully that answered your question. All right, so let's jump back into uh, the, the webinar here. All right, now we just looked at the Zedon. We kind of seen that it was, it's a, it's a decently filtered program, has a lot of opportunity in it. Well, the bot system houses our intelligent signal system. And that intelligent signal system gathers information from the market, it grabs, the on how to basically trade with the signals. So they're going to actually follow exactly what the signals do over on our network. Now, why is that so powerful is because our network has a very powerful system of signals. Now our signal system uh, for the TNT and the daily, 
uh, the dailies are our crown jewel. They've been with us with the longest amount of history, I think close to six years now, uh, or five years or something to that effect. Uh, lots and lots of signals happening. Uh, and then also of the TNT signals that have been out for about, what, almost two years now or something to that effect. Uh, and TNT stands for Trend Negate Trade. And we came up with this phrase and this process on, on a particular trading style, which I'll show you here in just a second. Um, but we developed this over a couple of years and we really entrenched into the having this as the strongest value of being able to trade on Nadex with all of our experiences of trading with signals. Okay, so let's go over and have a look. Okay, so we're here on our website, DexFX. We're here on the one hour signals. And in this particular one, we're just using one. Let's go over and have a look at our dailies. And you can kind of see that the dailies, let's, if we scroll down, you'll get to our, what we call our DPC area. Here are all of our signals. Some of you know what they look like. Some of you know what they are. Uh, don't look at the winning percentages here. Uh, it's more about the winning percentages down here and in what we refer to as our DPC, our data processing center uh, that takes all the signals that we have had and it creates a process of, of, of tally, right? Of what they've done, if they would have been traded, would they have won the speculational trade process? Now, the good thing is that, look, that's 34,000 uh, trades over a lifetime that it's been on. That's a lot. And there was even a time that we lost a tremendous amount of data. I think our, like our first or second year in, uh, I think we almost lost like a, almost a year's worth of data. So it would have been a lot more than that. Now, we keep that data. And originally, we just had it broken down in this format, right? We knew how the Audi JPY performed over a lifetime, over a year, over a month, over a week and a day. And then we started to really break it down like the three o'clock expires, how well are they doing? The seven o'clock, how well are they doing? On a daily, a weekly, a monthly, and a yearly, and the lifetime. So it was very powerful for us to look at the data and to understand the data, right? If you're calling to get your process turned on right now, Mr. Jeffrey, <laughs> please wait till after the webinar. We're all in the webinar. Um, but the, the solution for us was to gather the data and utilize that in what form? And could we use that same data to be able to help have the auto system be able to trade better? And the answer is yes. Uh, in the one hour signals, we've, we've created charts in just about everything that we've done. Uh, our charting system, which is, is sitting on a trading view platform, is given to us, we, we built this with our, our signal system. We have our prioritary um, system of our support and resistant lines right? This is our support and resistance system called our MDM SR. And we have our uh, MDM5, which is our, which is our arrow system here, uh, which is a little proprietary system that we put together on when and why the arrows form the way they do and when to make the trade. We're always looking for a trend to wait for negation to get a trade to happen. So one arrow and section form a trend. We wait for a little bit of pullback and then we wait for a trade to happen or an arrow to happen that goes within a direction of our trend. Now, that system alone yielded out the actual signals uh, for this process. Now, some can get faked out and we teach you how to read the charts as well. So the TNT system and the process being separate from Zedon to a degree, the, the Zedon will read each one of the arrows, right? And you have to be careful of that because you have to sort of, well, not each one of the arrows, but each one of the signals here, it'll read out the, the variable, the signal, but the signal can be faked or the signal can have a false reading. So you have to kind of be a little bit careful. Now the numbers overall, even with the losses will still work out if you have the right buying pattern for them. Remember every single one of these uh, strategies and systems depend upon the price, depends upon the timing, you know, how many contracts, not just how many contracts you run, but uh, uh, the, the market price that you're paying, paying for it, you know, could you get in, could you not get in? Uh, are you getting in, in, out of the money, in the money, out of the money, or out of the money? There's a whole bunch of things that, that take effect. So are you using a news filter or using performance filter? There's a lot of variables that you that can filter out your trades and you could be successful trading the same features as somebody else who's not maybe trading the news 
and you'll do better than them or worse than them. So not, every, not any one person's results are the way to go, right? Everybody has their own way of doing it. Now, um, in the factors of the TNT system and the daily signals, even our five minute signals, right? We don't really suggest you trading the five minute signals on the Zedon system, uh, cause that's a lot. Uh, but learning how to trade five minutes is a way of learning the strategy for TNT very, very fast. Why? Because a one hour trade for you to get into takes about 45 minutes to an hour to become either a win or a loss. And how many trades can you trade in a 24 hour period? I mean, a 23 hour period, about 23 trades. If you had one for every hour, we're in five minute trading. You can have up to 12 trades happen in an hour. Not in all cases, every single pair could have maybe one or two in that hour. As you can kind of see in the one hour from 12 o'clock from this area, there was only about five or six signals that fired at that point. Okay knowing when and how to get in and get on board with those signals um, is really up to the strategy that you're using, but you still have to be very careful, right? You're not going to get into every single one because there are going to be market values that you're not going to be able to use. So we teach you how to read the chart. Now let's jump back over to the um, process over there. Okay. I think we got the question. Go back into the share program. All right, so we discussed a little bit about the TNT system. We discussed about the Zedon system and how powerful it is. And in this next part of the presentation, this is basically what you're all here, which one does better, right? And I know this, I really originally just wanted to have a, a webinar about the actual Zedon bot and TNT trading. And I think Chris came up with the idea to make it like a, a one versus another, right? So. But really, you know, what, what system does better? So before I give it to you, I'm going to reach out to Chris and Thor and Paul and, uh, and ask them what their thoughts are, which one has the best potential for, for them. So let's start off with uh, 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 Paul, who's, who's been in training for a long time and ha is using the process as well. So is Thor. Uh, but let's start out with Paul. Paul, what's your viewpoint on who could what, what would be the best system well <laughs> yeah you put me on the spot there That's um right. i love the zidane I, I really do and at the moment i'm still really practicing with it i'm still trying to get my variables right um mm -hmm. I, with news avoidance etc etc um but the good thing about the zidane is i can also manually trade so be, being a manual trader myself mm -hmm. um it's it, it's a difficult one. I, I I love manual trading. I get the thrill for manual trading with the Zedon. I can put it on and leave it once I've set my variables. Right. Uh, but I do like to sit down, look at the charts, and and go through our tools and manually trade. And I get a lot of satisfaction from that. But that's a satisfaction. That's not necessarily talking about the financial side of it. Right. That's the satisfaction that I get from doing it. Okay. So Paul, you're more about the manual side. Great. And Thor, what about you? Um, I'm leaning more towards the Zedon. <laughs> Glad <laughs> I picked you guys. <laughs> not to be controversial or anything. I agree with Paul. He's right. a master trader. Um, but I like the ease of it. Um, and I'm like a lot of people on the site, we're, we're working on um, setting up the, the, the grid. Um, I like to create a plan for myself every Sunday afternoon, evening. Sure. Right. Uh, I'm in there. Uh, copying the, the the grid off the website, loading it onto an Excel spreadsheet, and then deciding, you know, what I'm going to trade, what I'm going to turn on, what I'm going to turn off, and how many contracts I'm going to trade. So I tended to go with that. I think if I were restricted to one thing, I would probably just trade the dailies with the Zedon bot and let it run. Okay. <laughs> that, that, and 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 that's and I, and that's I, a that's a viable plan. Yeah. Um, All right. So we got one percentage wins, a uh, long history on them. Hmm. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm working on compiling some data, which I'll kind of post uh, in the uh, next week or two. Right. Cool. 
Well, we got one for Z done leaning and one for manual trading. Chris, where, where, where are you at? Oh. Um, actually, I think, I think Victor would have, um, if he can come out, he can. Uh, I, 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 probably, I, think, I probably will. I won't. I can't bring it. But anyways, yeah. I, I, I ended out, um, I like the Zidane because I don't have to do too much thinking. And it, right. it acts, as a, it acts as, a, as a good filter. Mm -hmm. if, I'm, if I'm doing something else, I don't get a whole lot of time to trade. But when I have the Zidane on, I, I, I take a, it just allows me to say, well, okay, well, what's, what's going on? And I still go to the charts. Right. Uh, however, when, um, when I manual trade, uh, I end out doing better. I get into more trades than than the Zidan. Of course. And, uh, of course. So that's uh, so. As far as which one I like better, I I like using a. Okay, I like using a combination of both actually, and I find that that really helps me out. That, that's very smart to say. Uh, so here's here's how we've here's how we've applied this, uh, and 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 Victor just came out with it too in a little chat, and he says I merged the Xenon and the manual together, <laughs> and that's the perfect edification of what what we have done. Now let let's talk about that, right? Now I I personally say manual trading, of course, right? Let's not be ridiculous. Manual trading will let you get to your goals, uh, and and to your efforts of of auto trading, right? but you have to know how to use it. And I, and I put this analogy out. It's, it's almost like learning how to, when you're, when you're becoming a carpenter, learning to how to use a hammer. I would never give an apprentice a nail gun until they learned how to nail a nail, right? To hammer a nail. Until they learn how to use that proper equipment on the fundamentals of trading. And you don't learn the fundamentals without the quality of manual trading, especially in the process of doing the TNT signals and systems and knowing what they are, learning how to read the charts and all that kind of good stuff. And that's the good part about this. We're not here to try to float a boat up anybody's butt about, you know, oh, come and use our automatic trading system and, and spend so much money with us. We want you to learn not only just the process of trading, but the reason why and what to look for. We're looking for quality over quantity at times. That's what manual trading does. You're looking for the quality over quantity. In auto trading, you're looking at the quantity of trades that will be good enough to be able to um, be able to trade. Okay, so that's that's very important to understand when you're going into this. You're never coming into our network and trading directly, right? I mean, because I don't want you to be fooled. Auto trading has its benefits, and it's it definitely you can schedule in where normally you wouldn't be able to trade. Okay, just like with what Chris was saying, when those times that are in the middle of the night and you can kind of block out of time or what uh, Thor says that he he sets out his stuff on Sunday night and he plans out the whole week. Okay, it can be a company that can use that. But you're going to get people like Paul who only want to trade, you know, mostly manually trade because that's what they feel more comfortable and they feel more hands on. That's what they're there for. And we're not here to judge you on whether or not you, you do it that way or the other. One thing that we do all have in common that all has to happen, whether you manually trade or you auto trade, is that you're going to need data. That's right. And tons of it. You're going to need so much data in the process that you sometimes are going to get a, a, a little bit overwhelmed. So let's just go through that just real quickly um, on what that looks like. So I can go back in here, do basic, go screen, go five. Now, in most cases, let's just talk about what Thor was referring to as what we're looking for on data in the process. The big thing about live signals or, or daily signals is that when you're looking at the spreadsheet itself, there is data. This number right here is in representation to the Great Britain Pound JPY over the last 100 trades. as a 95.9% .9 success rate when you buy at the level of the open price. Now, sometimes that open price is not going to be made available. So you've got to wait for pullback. That's with every single signal that we have. Okay. These aren't the success rates of if I got in at the money, win the money and hit it. Right. These are all about pullback trades, working order processes. Now, sometimes with the smaller divisions like uh, one hour and two hours, you may have an availability to get into trades where a little bit have already started to pull back. We get that right? And you know that a loss will definitely pull back and set your working order, right? So some of these may not fill. So we do have somebody who has done a lot of data and looked at the data of fill rate and capability and all that kind of good stuff. And we'll go over some of that in a minute. 
But the next form of data comes down to looking at the overall values of where you want to be at, whether it's in a month or a week or a day, you're looking at overall data of statistics above, right? These statistics here, you know, and what does it look like on overall data for a particular pair over the last month? Now, you may have not have done 100 trades in a month, or you could have done 100 trades in the week. It all depends, but these are over the actual period of a 30-day period, right? the last 30 days. So every 30 days, every day, is another set of 30 days. So these numbers could change wildly. If like we just had a loss on the month of the audit JPY, this could drop that down. Or 30 days prior to you had a loss and now that's not in this new 30 day period. So this can increase. We do have some, we don't have any 100 percenters in the year or lifetime on the dailies, but over the last month, so in the last 30 days, this has done pretty well on the USC JPY. It hasn't lost them in the last 30 days. So that's, or to that effect, I just recycled crap. Um, it just takes a second, just one second here. I apologize. Do, 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 do. That's a lot of data to go through. That's why it's taking a second plus a recording. All right. As we started to drill down the information on dailies, especially there is 12, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, six time periods that it, that it fires off. So we knew that on an audit JPY on every, you know, for the last 24 hours, how well is it done? And over the last week, how well is it done? And of course we looked at the last month, the last 30 days, how well is it done? And as you can kind of see, if you can get them filled, they have a very good rate of success. Now where this really becomes even more engrossed in utilizing that data is on your charts is then you start really looking at, okay, if I get a daily signal that fires off, right here, is this a good trade to try kind of be into, right? Can I look at support and resistance areas or dynamic support and resistance areas and be able to use this information and this data that we have dynamically just over the last 50 bars, what could you assert should you get into this trade or not? You see what I'm saying? So you have a lot of availability to, to use the data on the dailies in, in a manual trading, whether or not it be from the spreadsheet from the uh, asset filters, or even from the broken down dynamic statistics that are down below. But even with the spreadsheet itself, from a buy or sell signal, or a relationship of how many pips it's one buy, or a choke up, or anything thereof of, of any strategy you want to be able to place. Now, everything you see here in data can also be utilized when you're looking at your market value, what you're buying the, the contracts for. So some buy them for $30 profit margin. Some buy it for $28 profit margin. Some buy it for $20. I don't say going lower than $22, but in most cases, it really depends upon your market price that you're looking to buy them as well. Now, some, they even use like a, a staggered process, like the USD JPY uses a 28, 20, or 28, or yeah, 28, uh, 72 or whatever it is, right? 28, 68 or whatever the, the difference is in between. Um, some will use it staggered that it'll be different for the audio US, audio USD than the USD JPY. Some use just a blanket all the way across. I'm only doing 3070s, right? So what I tell you is that if you're manual trading or even auto trading, if you find yourself, your pairs are not getting bought, lower the value of profit margin and until you start getting bought. And if you start getting bought at a particular number, stay there, until you're not really seeing stuff getting bought or you end up losing uh, at that level. So I, I try to teach people to experiment with your own data, but start off with a base, use that base for a while, trade and demo, uh, and then graduate. Graduate into tweaking small movements, whether it's a manual or in, or in, or in automatic, automatic trading, okay? Um, if we look at the one hour signal system. This is going to give you a real clear, I, I find that, you know, some people are like, well, the one hours aren't as good for me as the two hours. Everybody's grass is different. Everybody has a different way of fertilization. Everybody has a different way of maintaining or cutting or different lengths they like. I pers personally like the one hour system because it gives me just a little bit more opportunity to trade. 
I can kind of look at dynamic levels. I've learned how to read the support and resistance uh, very, very quickly. And even looking at different levels of pullback and structure and know where I'm at. And I, can, and I can make adjustments on the fly when I'm manually trading, okay? When I'm trading with the Zidon bot system on board, I have to be really engaged with the data, right? On what pairs have done the best at what times or overall what pairs have done well, okay? So here I could be more hands-on while with the Zidon, I have to really... The same amount of work, I feel like it's almost about the same amount of work. If I manually trade five times a week or I sit on Sunday and I deglaze my process by going through and, and turning pairs off and on at certain times throughout the week, I'm still doing the work. It's just in a different format. Excuse me one second. I apologize. I had to sneeze. Go figure. All right. So let's jump back over um, to our, oh, okay. So let's just look at this real quick. If you're brand new to our site or brand new to our systems or you're in a free member system, um, you're, you're only getting a certain amount of things in there. Inside the network, you can get all the dailies. You're going to get all the training. You'll be able to go through all the training for the Zidon. Uh, we have a Zidon portal in the process for you to be able to join and be able to get onto. But in order for you, we're not like every other company that's out there. Okay. We're not just going to hand you this big old uh, equipment and then, or this software and uh, you're going to be able to, excuse me for a second, there we go, uh, just be able to go utilize it. We're going to train you how to use, you're going to use it in demo and that kind of stuff, but we'll explain that here in a second. Um, as, a, as a, just a little bit of a reward here, I want to kind of show you guys what kind of people that we have in our, in our network. Hang on one second. I'm going to see if I can pull this up behind the scenes. Nope, it's right here. While we were learning how to put everything together with the Zidon, we had decided that we would rely on people, okay, uh, within our network to be able to trade with it and openly be able to say whatever they need to say about the process. So we created the Zidon Auto Trader Bot group for our system. And we have many people in here that show their results freely, right? We don't, we don't tell you not to show them. We, we encourage you to show them as long as you're respectful with the process. Some have wins, some have losses, some have in-betweens. Some have great days, some have bad days. In most cases, people are really beginning to understand the power of the process. You can see that it's all open, it's all upfront. When you do have issues, we work hard to fix them. And sometimes those issues aren't easy. Sometimes it's on somebody's computer, some, somebody else has it. Uh, it, might be, it might be whatever. Some people have it and some people don't. So the, the real understanding is that when we put out there that we're looking for data, if you got data, if you're keeping track, please let us know. And we get all kinds of great people who come on board and show us the data. You can kind of see that in this room here, uh, that there's people showing us you know, their, their, you know, uh, their process of what's winning and what's not winning, right? We have people who take videos, Thor and other people. We have people who just write out what they've done or haven't done and people show us their success. And in the world of sharing data, we were recently just punched with the ultimate king of data and his name is Tim. And Tim sent us this formation of a data sheet that I have never seen before. I've never seen somebody go through this much extension to be able to do this. And he's here in the room and I can't thank you enough, sir. For, for doing this. Whether or not it was favorable or not, it, it shows that you cared enough to fill out and put in all this information and have the wherewithal to share this with us in this, in this great process that we're building. Now, we see, and, and I've been able to go through some of your data here uh, and be able to see where, where can we touch up some of the processes and work on. Uh, and what levels you're at and what you, what you have done. And you've given us a tremendous amount of information on what works and what doesn't work. Okay, so I can't thank you enough for that. And we also do have uh, other people that, you know, like uh, Jeff Vandenberg and um, um, Jeffrey Giles and other people who have put information, Jason Clark, other people 
that have been here to be able to do that. And I can't thank you enough for that. That shows that you're, that you're sincere about being here. You know, the hard work that we all do and Chris and I and Paul and Thor and Vivian and Amy and everybody else who's put their time in here, uh, even people like Victor S.A., who if you've probably seen in the room, they have uh, all, I think it's, I don't know if it's under founders, might be in the founders group. But you would see like uh, Victor S.A. putting out all the data that he has done uh, within this process, which is extraordinary. We can't thank you enough for this, Victor. This information that you've been giving us about split, splitting the workloads between the uh, uh, Zidon and, and the other process, you and I can sit down and do just a webinar alone. You, me, and Tim could probably uh, sit down with all the data that's here and surmise a really good strategy for everybody to be able to use, or at least to start with within the process. So I guess where this is all coming down to, and I'll sort of bring this down to a boil uh, right now, is that we have worked very hard over the last several years to bring you the opportunities of the system, of, of Zedon, of the TNT, of those programs. And where we're going is unprecedented. If some of you thought that we had a lot going on with the Zedon before, what's about to come out is going to be even more advanced. We are going to have other systems that will be able to drill down the automation to automatically change that data over uh, for when there is a change. We're also going to have some, um, how can I say this, news filtration that's not in uh, Forex Factory or any of the other systems that are out there. So there are going to be a lot other systems out there. Okay, so is manual easier than auto as a boil down for today? Uh, I say yes. Manual is more reactive than proactive, uh, being that you, you have to learn it. Where would you start? I would start with learning how to trade the system manually and then graduate up to the auto trader system. Um, as, as a final here, are there any deals? If you're here, if you're a free member and you're like, damn, Max, I want to end. You know, I heard this thing's really expensive. It's not. It's like 157 but what I want you to do, and this is real, this is a real casual thing. I didn't want to turn this into a sales video today. I wanted to kind of show you the differences between manual and that. And we will have another webinar that will talk about strategies where I'll have what Tim's using, what's, uh, what Victor S.A. is using, and a handful of other people are using. And we'll start to boil this down. I just wanted to make sure I got everybody's attention here with this video today. If you are a free member and you want to start out and with us and you need a deal, right? I'm willing to give you a coupon or a discount off or do whatever, but I just don't want to give you just one thing fits all. Uh, so I want you to be able to reach out to us. We want to build relationship with you. So reach out to us, either the, the chat room that's on the website. Okay. You can reach out and talk to Chris, you can talk to Paul or Thor. Any one of them can give you a discount uh, for the process. Simply tell them that if you are writing in, uh, I need a deal for Zeta, right? And if so, then let's get you on board. Let's get you in utilizing the process. If you're in the free side, Stop being in the free side. And I'm not talking about just coming in and paying that the free side is only there for you to kind of have a taste like the little chicken at the, at the at, you know, as you're walking by the Chinese food place in the mall, right? It's only a taste. It's only a taste to kind of get you acclimated to what we have accomplished, All right? Pretty soon free members will only have 30 days to be able to do that. So if you are a free member or maybe you haven't even signed up yet, I don't know, maybe you got this from somebody who shared it with you, whoever shared it with you, thank them because if you're looking to trade, and make this work, then get in. Start it now. Be a part of it. All right. At this time, I'm going to kind of open this up to Chris, Paul, or Thor uh, to come out with any uh, any final statements that they that want to do, or basically anything. So you guys come out, and then we'll open up the Q and A. So, yeah. so hi, Max. Oh, sorry, Chris. Go ahead. Well, I was just I was just curious now for for those who are here. Can we? Can we crown a victor um, of uh, the Zidane versus manual trading, or I'm just, uh, or or maybe like I said, or 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 Victor said, a combination of both? Is there a can we can we place the crown? And I I don't know. Systems? What I, do you think? You know, I think they knocked each other out. <laughs> you know, I I I, I got to tell you, I've I've always fancied manual trading is like is is the master of what 
It all is. I mean, we would, you would, if you didn't have the manual trading system, you wouldn't have Zidon, right? So the question being asked is the victory altogether. What are you doing? You know, learning how to trade manually and then letting Zidon do its thing. I don't think it's a Zidon versus manual trading. I think it should be, I, it, it, in fact, here, here's what it should be. It should be Zidon. Oops, hang on one second. Zidon plus manual trading is the victor. You know, <laughs> I know that sounds real, right? Victor SA. Uh, but it is. Zidon plus manual trading or manual plating trading plus Zidon is the actual victor of the process. Just learning how to trade any of it is good because they both work. They just have different values of working on. Some people trade, use the Zidon as, it's like, what's better, a car or another car? Okay. It just depends on the motor. It depends on so many other variables on how you drive it, everything. So I think the, the real answer and, and not to be like clickbaity, you know, it's, it, it is that the whole system is the winner. So it's not that one is better for any one person over another. It really depends on the individual. Okay. That sounds good. Paul. Oh, I pair into insignificance when it comes to Chris. <laughs> I was, I was just going to say, you know, the, the great thing about the Zedons I tried to put out before and the manual trading is that when something comes on and I've got the time, I go onto our charts and I look at what signals being fired off right. and then I will manually do it as well. If, if needs be, um, right. I say, that's my throne knit. But what I wanted to point out to everyone here is that we do have a YouTube channel that would be fantastic if they could sub subscribe to, which has a lot more information and a lot of history there for them. Right. One thing that uh, everybody should know is that this coming, the, the, the finale of this week, uh, the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of this week, um, I'm sitting down and revamping all of our Zedon training uh, to start to emulate the, these processes more and more. We didn't know what we didn't know we were going to be able to build with the process and why we sort of took a smaller, or like a quicker back seat to uh, uh, our knowledge going out is because we needed to make sure that the roads were paved fairly. Uh, Nadex was sort of hitting us below the belt a few times with some of the code structures that they were having. But I think they sort of understand now that we're not here to hurt, we're here to help and not help them directly, but help the people that are trading their exchange. And if it's an open exchange like Forex and other processes, why can't we trade on it like that? And I think they're, they're allowing this process to happen because they know it's just going to happen now. And they might as well be okay with it. But, you know, as long as I know now, they're not going to be doing anything crazily shady or anything. So if, if that's the case, now we need to move forward in letting the world know and showing that the Zidon does work, you know, you got, but you have to know these other processes. So later on, the Zidon is only one part of, you know, we, we're trading the binary on, on, on Nadex. We're not, we're not trading uh, um, like futures or commodities or spreads or anything else in it just yet, but it could in the future. It definitely could. You could have multiple versions of the Zidon bot conclusion. So, you know, whether it be five minutes or one hours or two hours or dailies or, or what, it, it really is endless because of the connection value here. One thing I, I would say, um, even if you're here primarily for the Zedon uh, bot, go through the training mm -hmm. um, because there's a ton of information there and it really shows you the mindset of, of uh, what the bot tries to do. Um, so go through the, all of the training. Um, there's a ton of information there and, and take the time and, and go through and you might find that you know, hey, um, I've learned something new and maybe I want to, you know, trade manually. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, I, I've had people that have signed up uh, primarily for the ZDM because they all, they all search the same thing, automatic trading system on Google and <laughs> for Nadex. And they come up with Outrado. They come up with all these places that make all these great promises. You know, come in and trade and make thousands of dollars a day, you know, and it's nonsense. It's all nonsense. So they get to us and they think they're going to apply those same values that, Oh, the Zedon, but you know, I'll be able to go in and trade and, and, and make a thousand dollars a day. You need to know how the systems work and the programs work. And it takes time. We say we have a, another company called Faber tech 
and it's a marketing process. And we talk about POI, products of investment, because everybody in trading is looking at ROI, right? I have a thousand dollars I'm going to trade. How much, how much money can I turn that thousand dollars into? Right. But I'm going to tell you right now, learning the system, learning the program, take some time, take a couple of months, really learn it. Oh, Max, I need to make money now. Absolutely. But if you don't train properly, the money that you're hoping to make now will never happen. It will fail you because you're in too much of a hurry. Take a big, deep breath, grab some extra money. Maybe you've got to work the extra job for a little while or do whatever you got to do. You know, have that, have those assets ready to pay for your monthly, to get your stuff on and be ready for when you're about to go live. Train yourself to do that. Don't just jump into this thing and think, all right, I'm going to take my chip in a chair and go make a thousand dollars. It's not going to happen. And something you always say is don't take the bread off the table. That's right. If you, if you need, if, if you're trading with the bread that you need for your family every month, like your rent or your food or anything else, then you shouldn't be trading. I'll be the first person to tell you that. Just like Paul said, you know, it, it, you have to be ready to make the decisions to be able to trade and do so for a long term. Um, at this time, if anybody else has any questions, you should be typing them out or you should, if you want to raise your hand, come out and talk, you can. Um, but we're going to open this up to questions and answers. If you have any questions, if not, then you can always save them for onboard. Uh, if you do want a good deal, I'm telling you, if you write in, I promise you, Thor or Paul or Chris will not disappoint with a good deal. What is a good deal? Well, you'll have to call and ask them to find out. I'm, I'm telling you, you, you definitely want to get in and talk to them. Whether Chris, you call the phone number on the website and you'll get on to Chris or Thor or myself, we're definitely going to give you a good deal. If you're in to buy and ready to go, we're willing to help you. We're going to train you. We're going to help you get to that process. And we promise we'll try to be there for you the entire time. Oh, there is a question and it says, Peter says, Hey Max, have you had any success scalping with the Zedon bot? Um, I'm a firm believer in no scalping on the, the, the Zedon. Um, and mostly because I, I'm, I'm a firm believer in no scalping altogether. Right. Uh, I always feel that if you, if you really know how to scalp, like the old days we, we, we would scalp out trades, the percentages won't work for you. Right. Now, there is something that is, that is going around uh, of having a, a, a stop clause in the process when your, your, your profit gets to uh, your expiry, right? Like when your expiry happens, if you get to your strike price, then you just get out of the trade no matter what the market price is. But I, I don't trust the market makers in Nadex. So I haven't, I don't, the, the, the theory is still out, out to lunch for me on that one. So we may in the future have a process to where, if the, if the pair goes OTM, you know, if the pair goes OTM, do you get out of the trade? We, we are looking at that capability to be able to turn that feature on. Isn't that pretty cool that you actually have like a proverbial stop loss, in, if you will. But we're, we're going to probably run that on our private servers first for a couple of weeks, maybe even months uh, to be able to check that. So that's something. And we're also waiting to see if the new system comes out for the exchange is going to be like fully. Now the new exchange for Nadex doesn't have as many crazy uh, concerns as like the one that we're in right now. So there's a lot of little things that are attacking our program uh, because this is a lot of stuff going on in the new one. There's not as many. So it's, I, I am looking forward to the new one coming out, but it's still uh, some time away. Max, can I just quickly interject here? Please do. Um, the whole point of the Z Zedon is to set it um, to whatever parameters you want and then let it run. If you want to scalp out of it, you might as well do live trading. Yes. Um, because it, it'd be pretty pointless using the Zedon otherwise because yeah, we have signals be, on our site. Right. You're going to be following it anyway. You know? Yeah. So you might as well let it do its thing. Now... Yeah. The other thing, um, and I've posted some comments about a similar request on the uh, Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Many, many times the price will go right to the strike and bounce. Yeah. And there's a reason that happens. And that is that the strike that the bot recommends or the strike that we recommend in, in trading live is near the low of a look back period, which is also oftentimes support. Yes. So it will go right down to that strike and bounce and it'll go, or maybe two or three ticks below it, you know, and bounce because it's hitting, it's hitting support or resistance in the other direction. Right. And, uh, so if you set up a system where 
oh, if it, if it, uh, if it breaches the strike, we get out, you're going to end up losing more trades. You're going to end up probably shutting yourself out ahead uh, of a lot of winning trades. And so there's, 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 there's needs a lot of work and a lot of consideration. Right. And, and, and I've been thinking about it for a yeah, long, long time. Absolutely. We've had plenty of opportunities to uh, drive data towards that. And we have uh, previously, uh, when we created the Dex Trader Bot, I created a stop system in it uh, for Dex Trader Bot. Dex Trader Bot has a hidden stop system that we never released because it, you had more of an opportunity for it to do. And you're right. There were plenty of times where our 95% success rate dropped down to 60%. But when you're trading almost like a value of a one-to-one, like when it stopped, it would, it would knock out a 25, instead of $25 profit, you're getting $25 loss. So to me, that's a one-to-one -one ratio. So it can do that. But the problem was, was that sometimes that ratio was way off. Like you would get to the same stop price and you'd be $45 in the hole instead of 25 when you got to the, the strike. So there was times that we were a one-to-two or a one-to-one, -one, but never in the opposite. You were never below that one, right? So even when it was at the strike price, or you may have been four or five pips away, and been at 45 or even $50 profit loss. So I never trusted the market value to be the stop, but more if the indicative price ever hit the, 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 the stop or the, uh, the strike price. And even then their indicative pricing was always fluctuating of normally it's a one to 1.7, 1.8 pips difference than the spot market you know, we've always had this speculation and now we've been able to check. And yes, it does fluctuate wildly sometimes, sometimes five, six pips and then zips right back at whiplashes. That's what the indicative is there for is to protect you against whiplashing, but there in itself is whiplashing. So we have to kind of really pay attention. Does that stop loss have a value and can we, can we manage that? Uh, Victor said something in the chat, which everybody should, uh, uh, Keep in mind, um, the Xenon and the Nadex, and, and Nadex, you don't need a lot of trades to win to be successful. And we've always talked about this, CVG, right? And most people, when they first come on and go, Max, I didn't trade anything today. You know, I need, I need at least 20 trades a week because they think, well, I'm only winning $25 and that's 20 trades and that's $500 a week and that's four times four times, that's $1,000. Absolutely, at one contract, absolutely. But Maybe you only need five trades a week trading four contracts to get the same money. So the concepts are find your consistency, even if they're low, even if they're like super uber low, one time a day, two times a week, three times a week, five times a week, you know, whatever it might be. And simply find out what is the best value in there. Where's the best quality? And then simply add value. All right. I'm going to end it there. Anybody else have any Last statements. Well, this will be a regular feature that we're going to be providing. We'll come in, we'll talk about a process. During the week, if you have something you want to see a webinar on or see something exclusive or see us doing a particular process or watching us, even, even I don't know if we could do the actual trading side on the webinars. We have to kind of validate that. We have to make sure that the lawyers will agree to those kind of things. But I think looking at the different strategies that we have, what works, what doesn't, how do we curtail some of it? A lot of the training is going to be changing in Zedon. Uh, some of the trading and manual trading is going to be coming out and changing. Uh, we're going to have these open forums to be able to talk about the process and what we're doing. I want people to know that we're expanding our Zedon world. You want to be a part of that. Trust me, you want to be a part of it. So if you're here and you're free, please, if you decide that it's something that you want to do, if you need a deal, call us. If not, go to the buy page, start getting on, get in right now, be a part of this, help us with the data, be a part of the next solution, which will be all kinds of things from trading with stop losses to trading uh, futures and commodities and indices and spreads and everything, but we can't do it without you. All right, Paul, Thor, Chris, Vivian, and everybody else who showed up today, thank you so much for being here today. I look forward to seeing you next time. And as always, trade well.